All right, coming up next, this highly anticipated matchup for the UFC middleweight division title. So here he is, the number one middleweight contender getting set for this 185-pound title fight. He believes this title shot should have come a long time ago. But he has let bygones be bygones. The focus now, unseating the champion in dominant fashion and starting a new middleweight legacy of his own. 25 minutes or fewer away from becoming the new champion. We will see how he performs tonight. As he steps towards this cage, he understands this is one of the biggest moments in his life, the biggest moment in his career. He is looking to take this title, and he believes his time is now. His preparation has gone perfectly. He is in outstanding shape. He has a great game plan and a great camp, and he believes that he will emerge the new champion of the world tonight after this fight. So as this confident young fighter makes his walk to the octagon, you can be sure his inner monologue is, how do I get this opponent to the mat? Because once I get him down, I know I can keep him there, potentially for the duration of the round, if not the fight. This guy's top game is scary good, and it's not just about getting you down, it's about using his weight to keep you there. Great hips as well. The champion headed to the cage right now is in the groove. He is in his prime right now. His training for this bout has been perfect. He believes he has a solid game plan, and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. He is well prepared for this contest. Or tell the tape for this middleweight championship fight. Bisping is 13 years the elder. He is seven inches taller. He will have an eight inch reach advantage. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Middleweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 78 wins, 21 losses. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Manchester, England, presenting the challenger, Michael Bacall. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 36 wins, no losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Seattle, Washington, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, the reigning, defending UFC middleweight champion. All right, this is for the championship bout. I want you guys to do a clean fight. Follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Good luck tonight. Touch gloves. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a go, long go, time. Ready? And it Are is going to go down go. right now. Here we go. All right, so here we go with round one of this UFC middleweight championship fight. The consensus number one and number two, 185 pounders on the roster. The middleweight champion has defended the title several times, now looking to do just that here tonight. His last defense, he got off to an outstanding start. That is something his opponent will be looking to prevent here tonight. He landed that inside leg kick. Oh, right hand is there for him, Joe. Wow! Oh!
check that kick as well. So there's a swing and a miss from him, and sometimes when you miss, it can tax your gas tank even more than when you land a strike. So clearly, it is energy preservation time at this point of the fight. Wow! Oh, that one hurt. Oh, he might be out. The champ is rocked. He's in deep trouble. He's trying to hang on and keep his title. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. He's in half guard here. Oh, beautiful, beautiful right hand by the champion. Under a minute now to go in round one. Nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. How about that shin? Hard inside leg kick lands. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Another shot lands upstairs. Oh, he tagged him! And how much more can he take? For the end of round one. What a round it. Here you go, second round, you ready? You ready? Let's second go. round underway. That last round was absolutely insane. Both oh. players. The kick lands, he's hurt, he's down. Caught him with a punch. Well, it seems as though there comes a time in every fighter and striker's life where you need to make some changes. And to that end, in advance of this fight, he has left his longtime gym, which is rooted in strikers, and moved to one of the best wrestling camps in the world. He just felt like his takedown defense was exposing him and not allowing him to keep the fight where he is. Oh, looked like it did nice. stun him a little bit. He he hurt him. He's got him hurt here. for the knockout. Oh, that was a no-doubter, Joe. That might even impress the likes of Edson Barboza. A tremendous kick to spell the end of the night for his opponent tonight. He couldn't have caught him much more flush than that, Joe. Full force, beautifully extends the leg right to the target, and that is the end of the fight. You gotta think his paycheck could be $50,000 richer after that highlight turned in here tonight. And here it is from a different angle. And there is the UFC middleweight king. Best fighter in the world at 185 pounds. What a knockout he turned in here tonight. The official decision is in. That's where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Amasaki is called to stop for this contest. At one minute, 21 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. And still the king of the 185 pounders. There he is, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion after the knockout tonight in his title defense. And that's got to feel pretty good. There were a lot of people backing the number one contender coming in here tonight. But he certainly muted all of that noise and then some. The celebration is on in the corner. Congratulations to the reigning defending, still undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world.